Hello friends, welcome to tonight's stream of the Who Wants to Be a Pokemon Air. Just like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but a Pokemon version. Hope you're all well. Thank you to everyone in the chat already. I hope you're looking forward to it. Merry Christmas. Might be a bit premature, but I am in the festive spirit. Got five contestants lined up tonight. They're all going to test their knowledge, test their Pokemon knowledge, and see if they can win a copy of, it's going to be a pre-order, copy of Legends Arceus is up for grabs tonight for each and every one of our contestants, as well as some eShop vouchers, but they've got to answer the questions, of course, they're going to have four lifelines that they can use throughout, obviously it goes without saying that no chat open, no Google, no phones or anything through this, we've got cams on for some people, we haven't for others, but we're going to have to trust those that aren't on their cams, so we can't keep an eye on them. Friends, it is a special moment. We are gonna introduce our first contestant. It is Bevum. Welcome to the stream, Bevum. How are you doing, my friend? Hope you're What's all up, well. Everyone? What's up, everyone? <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> How excited are you, mate? How excited I'm are you I'm starting to get a little nervous. A little I mean, nervous? Yeah, yeah. You can see me rocking with my chair, and as soon as you can see me rocking with my chair, you know I'm nervous. That's so. all right. You've got all the decks out as well, mate. You've got your Eevee there and you've got the score buddy yeah. right in the back. I love it. Yeah. Doing the job <laughs> tonight. Yeah. And also the uh, rocket jumper. So I'm here, I'm here to steal some prizes. So for everyone at home, these are the levels. I've kind of catered them around a Kanto theme. We've got your starter Pokemon. We've got the Boulder Badge, the Cascade Badge, Thunder Badge so on and so on the elite four and then the champion so the first prize you're going to get up to is lorelei and that is ten dollar eShop voucher then after that you've got lance on twenty dollars you got blue on thirty dollars and then the top prize bebum is that legends arceus so tell me when you're ready mate and we will get started let's go man let's do ready? it ready yeah yeah okay getting mode getting mode here we go so the first That's... question bebum tonight for you my friend is how many tails does a Vulpix evolution have? Is it A, 9, B, 6, C, 3, or D, 18? I mean, Vulpix evolution, so it's 9. You sure? Yeah. You don't want to use a lifeline at this stage. Oh, already? I'm already, I'm already <laughs> messing up? Oh, God. I'm messing I mean, with you. I'm messing with you. Players. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, just imagine flopping on the first question already. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, it's alright. So, you said A, 9. Is that your final, final answer? answer? Final yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. You're correct, you move on <laughs> to the next stage. Okay. Congratulations, Bebum. Okay, this is for your boulder badge. Which generation introduced apricorn balls? Is it A, generation 3, B, generation 2, C, Generation 5, or D, Generation 4? B, Gen 2, final answer. Straight in. B, yeah. final answer. Magic, there we go. go. Straight like that, mate. Very confident, that answer. Yeah, too easy. <laughs> too easy. So this is for your Cascade badge. Well done. So far, so good, mate. You've still got all your lifelines intact, so we're doing good. Awesome. Ready for your next question is, how many evolutions does Eevee have? This is a bit of an easy one for you, I feel. Is it I mean, A, six? Is it B, eight? C, five? Or D, seven? B, eight, final answer. Final are you sure? Of course, man. Locking <laughs> in with eight. Let's go with eight, B, final answer, yes. <laughs> you, almost, you almost made me question myself. Yeah. <laughs> This is not the plan. <laughs> Congratulations, you're moving on. So, Thank you. <laughs> we're now moving into the Thunder Badge. So, question for your Thunder Badge. What item does Hapini need to hold to evolve into Chansey? Is it A, the Everstone, B, Shiny Stone, C, Oval Stone, or D, Josh Stone? Okay, nice. That, that's a nicely made up uh, stone there. <laughs> but it's C Oval Stone, final answer. Confidence. You are very yeah. confident. I feel like these might be a bit too easy. Yeah, the, I mean, the first four questions, right? Congratulations, mate. In 2006, which celebrity commentated at the US National Video Game Championships? Was it A, Hulk Hogan, B, 
Nicholas Cage, good old Nick Cage, C, Michael Jordan, or B, Kobe Bryant? No, it's uh, Hulk Hogan, A. Final answer? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations, Bebum. You are flying through this tonight. Nice, I, nice, nice. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Let's see so, how it goes. <laughs> Soul Badge up next, Bebum. Here we go. How many new Pokemon were introduced in black and white? Was it A, 156, B, 96, C, 201, or D, 151? I mean, I, I remember people like talking so much at the time Black and White came out and they said like it's a uh, like a soft relaunch or reset for the Pokemon franchise. Uh, so it's A or D, but if memory serves right, I think it's A156. You've got four lifelines, I'll remind you here. If you're unsure, it might be worth using them. But it's entirely up to you, obviously. If you're confident in your answer, just go ahead. <laughs> uh, I mean, the first lifeline I would use is 50-50, uh, but uh, it would be so bad if I'm left with A and D. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a possibility, you know. It, so brutal it is completely that. random, so I can't obviously say which ones would okay. be removed or which ones wouldn't, but you would be left with one right and one wrong answer. Uh, can we ask the audience? Can ask the audience? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, let's go for it. So, the audience is coming back with A as the highest vote. Let's go with A, uh, 156. Confidence in the audience, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Final because answer, A. I, yeah. Yeah? Final answer, A, 156. Yes. You are right, okay. my friend. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here okay, we go. Nice. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. Thank I you. think it was a good use of your lifeline. Yeah. And we're now moving on to the Marsh Badge. It's for your Marsh Badge. In gold, silver, and crystal, Pokerus was introduced, but what odds does your Pokemon have of contracting this virus? Is it A, 1 in 2,200, B, 1 in 4,568, C, 1 in 10,000, or D, 1 in 21,178? What are you you're thinking about now? Man, this is a very, very tough one. I, I honestly, I honestly never looked at it. Like, I never looked it up. But it has to be like a pretty high number. You've got three lifelines left. You've got your 50-50. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna use one now. You've got I your know call a friend, or you can use Ask the Host. And anyone at home wondering what the Ask the Host is that don't know, it's Ask Me. So, it can be good, and it can be really bad, depending <laughs> if I know the answer or not. Honestly, I'm uh, probably gonna ask the host because this one is. Uh... I know, I know you. You are into these kind of um, numbers, so you probably know this. One. So you want to ask the host, yeah? Your next yeah. lifeline. We're gonna yeah. have to use this lifeline. Okay. Uh, no way, I'm gonna do this on my own. Okay. <clears throat> well, it is very high, Bebum. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. And knowing shiny odds. It's even larger than shiny odds. So you would say that discounts A and B. I'm going to discount yeah. C. And I would say the correct answer is 1 in 21,000. It's one of the, the, the largest odds yeah. in the game of, of getting, contracting it. It's, it's a very rare. I had rare, a feeling, I had a feeling it would be that number. But, so uh... if that would be what I would say. So if you take my advice, I would say D is the, is the final answer. But again, it's up to you. You've still got two lifelines that you can use. But I would say, no. if you're asking me, my answer would be D. Let's go with it. I'm going to go with D. Uh, <laughs> now the pressure's on me. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> if it's wrong, what am I going to do? <laughs> go with D. Locking in. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. If I lose, I lose. <laughs> chat let's hope my advice was right yes <laughs> <laughs>
Oh that's God. definitely a sigh of relief from my end at least mate so nice nice congratulations though you've moved on and we're now going on to uh i think it's the earth badge now no volcano we got uh got oh, we bl got blaine okay. blaine up next so yeah right yeah. here we go for your volcano badge in uh, what games was the fairy type introduced was it a oh. x and y B, Ruby and Sapphire, C, Sun and Moon, or D, Black and White? Yeah, like like this question, this was like, for me, it's like the first easiest question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you but blasted anyways. through, you blasted through pretty much everything <laughs> up to that last question pretty easily. Yeah. X and Y, one of my favorite generations. Final answer? Mine too, mine too. Yes, yes. Congratulations, no doubt in your mind. And that will take us now on to the earth badge bevum you're doing well my friend you still got two lifelines intact how many species of pokemon are capable of mega evolution is it a 48 b 46 c 52 or d 44 i know it's in the 40s i have a feeling uh, first of all th there are like three choices of 40s so and I'm really suspicious of, of A and B. And of course, I don't have time to count them all now. Uh, can we call a friend? Of course you can. <laughs> I'm going to have to use right. it. Hey, Johnny? Johnny. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> He's here. Okay. Johnny, you're going to have 60 seconds when I give you the word go. Bebum is going to tell you the question, and then you're going to give him your answer. If you've already seen the question, if you're watching the stream, which I'm sure you are, then you can just dive into answers. So as soon as I start the timer, you can you can go, okay? So go. All right, Johnny, how many species of Pokemon are capable to mega evolution? 48, 46, 52, or 44? <laughs> That's a problem because uh, <laughs> I didn't count them. So I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. I, I'm kind of thinking thinking of 48. I have a feeling it might be the right one. But uh, what do you think? 48. Mm, yeah, sounds... Uh, because we had uh, more or less 10 per... Um, like you have nine starters, you have uh, the Pidgeot, the... Uh... 10 seconds, friends. No. <laughs> Come on, man, we have to yeah, make it... I, I'd say 48, more or less 20 per generation with Megas. All right, All so... right. thank you. Thank you, Johnny, and good luck tonight. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> See you again. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, so, Bevan, okay. here we are. Was that any help? Uh, I mean, I love Johnny, but uh, <laughs> not much, but <laughs> I thought he would have like a definitive answer. But um, let's go with 48. It's my best guess at the moment. You've still got a 50-50 that you could use as well, remember. I mean, I just don't want to use up two lifelines on one question. Yeah, but you've got but to think. Again, you've got if to I think. lose, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you away lose, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, God. Let's do the 50-50 uh, and... Uh... Yeah, 50-50? Yeah, final, okay. final answer. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the worst. Literally no, the worst. No, this is evil. This oh. is evil, man. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Well, you and Johnny both felt more inclined to say 48, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I have no other uh, options. I, I have to stick with it. It's my gut feeling, and uh, so be it. Final I'm gonna answer. Miss, I'm going to miss playing on this show. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer, yes. Okay, bro. Lock in. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Bebum, I'm so sorry, my friend. <laughs> too bad, too bad. I'm so sorry, mate. I'm so but we sorry. Used to hold the line. You did so First well. Of the night. <laughs> you did so well, mate. There were some brutal questions in there, and it comes down yeah. to it, you know. It's like, it's so hard. Like, if you just. 
that one thing that you don't know. I think the Porcarus question was the one. It was a bit yeah, brutal. Yeah, that was very tough. Yeah, yeah. Friends, how disappointing was it? Paul Bebum. I feel so bad for him, but he was a great sport and uh, he did so well. Some of those questions were brutal. Got our next contestant lined up. So I am um, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this next one. Hopefully, let's see if they can go a little bit further than Bebum and uh, get some prizes this time. So without further ado, friends, I would like to introduce contestant number two on this evening's poke who wants to be a pokemon air and we've got jay next so how are you doing jay uh good as i can do i guess yeah a little bit nervous or all right yes don't worry you'll be fine you'll be fine you will be fine yeah. tonight first question what is the pokemon vanillux design based on is it a a hot dog b an ice cream C, a chocolate bar, or D, a milkshake? I kind of want to make a joke, but I'm just going to go with the answer. B, ice cream. <laughs> I kind of want you to make the joke now, but if you want to just lock in... Oh, we, we all can... know it's a hot dog, don't we? Pardon? We all know it's a hot dog. <laughs> the hot dog Pokemon. There needs to be a hot dog Pokemon. It but does. You, your answer does. is B, yeah? B, ice cream. Final answer, B. Congratulations. It is the correct answer. Vanillux is not based, unfortunately, on a hot dog. How many Pokemon no. are in the red and blue Kanto Pokedex? Is there A, 149, B, 152, C, 150, or D, 151? I'm going to say 151 because that's how many Pokemon are in one. Final answer? Yeah. Congratulations, you got it, nailed it, Jay. So we are moving on. That was a bit of a trick one, yeah. I do, I do. Yeah. I would have been a bit nervy there, I think, for sure. So now moving on to the Cascade badge. Are you ready to, to jump straight in? What ball will always guarantee the capture of any Pokemon? Is it A, the best ball, B, master ball, C, ultra ball, or D, volleyball? Uh, B, master ball. Final answer? Yes. B, Master Ball. Final answer. Moving on. Here we go. Congratulations, dear. Moving on to the next stage and your Thunder Badge. Next question, Jay. When the Steel Typing was first introduced in Generation 2, what type resistance did it originally have, which was later removed? Oh. Was it A, Electric, B, Dark, C, Bug, or D, Psychic? My 50-50 lifeline. You want to use that 50-50? 50 mm hmm 50-50 is taken away A and D. So you're left with B and C, dark and bug. Dark type. 100%? Yeah. Okay, that's good enough reason for me. B, final answer, dark type. Well done. Use the lifeline, but well worth it to get to the next yeah. stage. So, yeah. next question for the rainbow badge. What fossil do you need to get a Caracosta? A, a plume fossil. B, armor fossil. C, sail fossil. Or D, cover fossil. I should really know this because I use the... <laughs> I think it's sail fossil. Sail fossil. Yeah. How sure are you? Mm, vaguely sure. You've still got your lifelines as well. You've got your fauna friend. You've got to yeah. ask the host. And you've also got ask the audience as well. So you do have, if you're unsure, if you want to use any of them. Obviously, it is up to you. You don't need to use them. Um, but it might be worth considering if you're not 100% sure. Yeah. Can we ask the Ask the audience. Right. So, the audience have come back, voted that B, Armour Fossil, is the most common answer. Um, kind of tied for third and fourth is C and D, and it's definitely, by the audience vote, it's not A. That's not helpful. 
So, um, well, I'm going with C, because, you know, it yep. died. So the audience... So, you still want to go with your initial answer? Yes. C, final C. Yes. The sail fossil, yeah? Yep. Locking in with C, the sail fossil is your final answer. Aw. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I think if we went for the... I think it's the cover fossil. Yeah, it's the, the cover fossil. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. It's the cover fossil. Yeah. Which is really sad. So, Jay, I am extremely sorry that um, that you didn't get any further. And that was a tricky one. Um, it was a really tricky question. But, Jay, thank you so much for coming on tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it, even though you didn't get as far as kind of what you would have liked to without further to do i would like to introduce our next contestant of the evening welcome jason how are you doing tonight i'm doing fine thank you for having me today oh you are more than welcome thank you so much for coming on the show jason it's great to have you here i'm hoping you have a great run tonight and um just tell me when you are ready and we will get started i am ready okay good luck jason right <clears throat> Question number one, Jason. What color is the Pokemon Jigglypuff? Is it A, pink, B, blue, C, red, or D, yellow? Hard one for us to kick off with. Uh, A, pink. Final answer, A? Why not? Correct. Okay. Okay, well done. That's the first one out of the way, Jason. Still feeling all right? A, a little bit better. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Boulder badge question. Next question. What typing is Snorlax? Is it A, normal, B, ground, C, fighting, or D, flying? A, normal. Final answer? Yeah. Imagine it being flying type. <laughs> Just the biggest troll ever. A, normal type, is correct. So, nice start, Jason. Getting into this really well. So, moving on now to the Cascade badge, and we can go for our next question. What level does Kakuna evolve into Beedrill? Is it A, level 7, B, level 12, C, level 10, or D, level 14? I never used a Kakuna before, or a feature. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know it's an early level, and I, and I know it's between 12 and 14. You have got your lifelines, so you can use your lifelines if you want to. I'll ask the host. You want to ask the host? Okay. If I was to give you my answer, I would say level 10. Jason, that, oh. would, be, that would be my answer, level 10. Oh. Um, okay. Which I, I pray that I'm right, um, being uh, a player that's played since Gen 1, so I should be really familiar with oh. this Pokemon. But I would oh. say, I would say level level 10 would be my, my guess. I'll trust you on that one. You want to go with it? Yes, because I clearly haven't played much in Gen 1. And I okay. This is where the pressure comes in, because I'm now, I'm like, okay, this if this isn't right, I look so bad, but... I'll apologize first. I need to knock that on. We've asked the host. I've given you my answer, which is level 10. We're going to say final answer C. Oh, God. I would have gotten right. that one wrong. I would have gotten it wrong. <laughs> well, it's all right. That's what the lifelines are there for. And like you said at the start, you're going to get those questions. Probably out of 15 questions, it's going to be one that you get a little bit tripped up on. And that's why the lifelines are there. You've used them really well, Jason. So... <sighs> can take a, a breather sigh of relief and move on what is pikachu's signature attack in the main series video game titles is it a bolt strike b thunderbolt c volt tackle or d wild charge d c volt tackle yeah, yeah? yeah. is that your final answer, final answer. 
Final answer C, Vault Tackle. It is correct. It is correct. Well done. We are moving on, Jason. You're doing well, my friend. You're doing well. You are doing very well. The movie Stand By Me was first referenced in the Pokemon Red and Blue titles. What other Pokemon main series title has this reference appeared? Is it A, Sun and Moon, B, Black and White, C, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, or D, X and Y? This is a oh, tough one. I don't even know what this is asking me. So there is a movie reference in the yeah. original red and blue titles. Yeah. Um... Somewhere in the red and blue titles. It is referenced again, but in which title was it referenced? Can I use 50-50? You can use 50-50. You are left with sun and moon and black and white. Taken away Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Next and Y. These two games I told you I haven't played much. <laughs> these are, yeah, these were the ones at the start that you said you, you took a break and didn't play Sun and Moon in black and white. Um, you've still got ask, ask the audience and you've got phone a friend. Ask the audience. Okay, ask the audience. Undeniably coming back strong as a the audience think it is A, Sun and Moon. B is third to last. I'm going to go with A then. Final answer, A? Final answer. You said A, Sun and Moon. And you are... Oh, what's happened? It's crashed. We're going to lock in. And you are right. <laughs> I was trying to build the suspense up a little bit. I know I can't do that now. So, well done, Jason. Who was the Pokemon Professor in Pokemon XD Gills of Darkness? Was it A, Professor Crane, B, Professor Stalk, C, Professor Juniper, or D, Professor Orc? It's another tough it's either one. either A or B. Okay, A or B. You've still got Fauna Friend. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna go for, because it's kind of like a 50-50 situation now. I'm going for B. Professor Stalk. Final answer. Final answer. Is Professor Stork, the professor in Pokemon XD Girls of Darkness, locked in? Final answer B. Uh, Jason. I'm so sorry, my friend. I just want to say thank you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure having you on. You're absolute fantastic. And I would love to have you on if we do this again. Thank you for having me. Uh, Merry Christmas to all. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays, Jason. Thanks again. So chat, sit tight. We are going to line up our next contestant. We'll be back in just a jiffy. We are back and we have our next contestant already lined up, which I'm really excited about because he is a very good friend of the channel. Uh, been here since the very beginning, pretty much. And uh, I'm excited to have him on. I want to introduce a very good friend of mine and uh, obviously a big friend of the show. Welcome our next contestant, Davide. How are you doing, mate? Hello. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. How are you feeling about how it's went so far tonight? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of brutal. I don't know if I'm that, uh, ready at a hundred percent, but okay, I I definitely try my best. Okay, Davide, here we go. Can you be a Pokemon Air? Kicking off with our starter, nice and easy. What is the fire type starter in Pokemon Black and White? Is it A, Charmander, B, Tepig, C, Litten, or D, Chimchar? I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, I'm sure it's B, Tepig. Tepig, final answer? Black and White, yet, yes. Final answer, B, Tepig. Off the mark. Here we go, mate, here we go. Good start. Moving on to the Boulder Badge. Who is your rival in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Is it A, Blue, B, Hop, C, Barry, or D, Paul? It's the best rival, Hop. Hop, final yep. answer? Final answer. Final answer, B, Hop. 
Awesome. There we go, my friend. Moving on. Nerves all right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing well. You've made a good start. So let's continue yeah. this on. Still got four lifelines intact. So we're all good. We're all good, mate. Next question for your Cascade badge. Which Pokemon character creates Apricorn Pokeballs? Is it A, Dawn, B, Bebe, or Beeb, C, Kurt, or D, Steven? Okay, uh, here is where uh, maybe I am going to get in trouble because uh, most of the names uh, of the cities of the uh, gym leaders, I know them in Italian. So, oh. but I'm pretty sure it's Kurt. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer, C. Kurt. Congratulations, my friend. I didn't think about the Italian translations. This is going to make some of these questions maybe tricky. Which is the only Pokemon to not require a held item to Mega Evolve? I feel like you might know this one before I even give you the maybe. options. Maybe. <laughs> is it A. Latios, B. Rayquaza, C. Diancy, or D. Mewtwo? My boy Rick was <laughs> one of your all-time favorites. It is. Final answer? Yeah. Final answer, B Requaza. Is correct. No yeah. doubt. How many turns can a Pokemon use the Dynamax ability in battle? Too many. Is it too many? <laughs> that should have been an answer. <laughs> Although it would have been a little bit of a trick one, I'm guessing. Is yeah. it A? Three, B, two, C, four, or D, five. As much as I'd like it to be two, I have to go uh, with uh, A, three. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer, A, three. Is it right? You are correct, Davide. You are moving on. Flying, mate. Which gym leader gives you the jet badge? Is it A, Skylar? B, Whitney, C, Winona, or D, Jasmine? <laughs> Another one of those questions. <laughs> okay, I'm sure Whitney and Jasmine are from the Gen 2. Uh, now, I don't I don't know if it's Sky, uh, Skyla or Winona are one of the flying type gym leaders. I don't know. First of all. The jet badge is from which generation? <laughs> mm. And mm, and I'm sure one is from Gen 4, uh, Gen 5, and the other is from Gen 3. You still so got the lifelines. Yeah, it's uh, well. either A or C. A or C. Now you could use a 50 50 here, but there is the chance that those two could be the ones that uh, are left. Yeah. I'm sure they're gonna be the one <laughs> who are left. <laughs> You've got to ask the audience, ask the host, or phone a friend. Uh, I'd say uh, the jet badge is from. Oh, maybe it's Gen 5. I'm pretty sure it's Gen 5, but I don't wanna. Mm. Let's try to. Ask the audience. Let's ask the audience, what do yeah. you say? The audience have come back with A as the highest answer, then B, C, and D. So, audience, don't have C up there. Have A as your, your top answer. Does that make it any easier, clearer? Yeah, I, I think... Uh... Mm, I think it's uh, it can be the right one. Okay, I'll I'll ask the host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's a Gen Five gym badge, and it is Skylar as the gym leader. That would be my final answer. The audience, I think, were right. So that would be my advice to you right now. A would be my final answer. Let's try, answer. Skylar. You want to lock it in? Final answer. Let's try. Two lifelines used. I hope I'm not letting you down, Davide. Final answer, A. 
It is correct, my friend. It is correct. Oof. And you are moving on. That was a tough one, but you've got yeah, it. two lifelines down, but you are progressing on to the marsh badge now. I hate these questions. <sighs> Hopefully okay. this next one's something a little bit easier. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next question. Which post-game character battle in Pokemon Red and Blue was removed from its final version release? Was it A, Blue, B, Bill, C, Lance, or D, Professor Oak? It's the legendary battle against Professor Oak. Is that your final answer? Final answer. The knowledge is spilling through right now. D, final answer, Professor Oak. That is correct. It was coded into the game, but it was removed. There is a glitch that you can use to actually have the battle though, which is interesting. So I would have liked yeah. to have done that. Next question. The mobile app Pokemon Go was released in 2016. In 2020, how many downloads did this app have? Was it A, 120, B, 180, C, 60, million or d 200 million let's try the 50 50. i'm gonna regret this but yeah the 50 50 is gonna yes. take away two answers one of them was the answer that you thought 60 million has been removed you are left with now a which is 120 and d which is 200 million but if i remember correctly in 2020, they implemented the, the system to allow you to catch the Pokemon even at home, if I remember correctly. I never played Pokemon Go, so that's tough. But if you were thinking it was more on the law end, because obviously what was happening yeah, that year... Yeah, I'd say then... 200 million is a lot, it's like a lot, a lot. <laughs> So what are you thinking right now? Which one are you leaning towards more? Yeah, I mean, let's try 120 million. You don't want to use your final lifeline? It's entirely up to you. I'm not pushing you. But if you want to lock yeah, it in with a final answer, 120 million, a, then it's you a, can. It's not a, a clever clever idea to just jump in like this. Um, I, I use the last lifeline. Okay, we've got Krim on standby, so I think he is your, your lifeline of choice. Yeah. Chat everyone, welcome Krim into the stream. He is Johnny's phone, a friend. So, uh, sorry, Davide, what I'm, um, uh, what I'm gonna do okay. is, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start the timer. You've got 60 seconds to tell Krim the question, and he's got 60 seconds to talk to you about it. So, three, two, one. Joe, um, in 2020, how many downloads did Pokemon Go have? I mean, only in 2020, not up to 2020. What are your options? Yeah, either are 120 million or 200 million. It's, it's 120, man, for sure. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm rather positive about this because um, I, I, I remember reading something about it, but, you know. Um, you, you never know. It could just be the aliens toying with my head. <laughs> and, uh, it's, that's definitely a possibility. But uh, and, you know, I'd, I, I'd say, I'd say it's, it's definitely 120 million. No question. Yeah. You got this. Yeah, I agree. Just, just lock it in, buddy. Thanks. You're Ooh, welcome. Thank you so much, mate. You're the best. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Talk to you later. Bye bye, yeah. mate. Bye, Joe. Hey. Davide, what a great phone a friend. Very wow. confident. So Yeah, I um, like the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so 120 million is what Krim yeah, was saying. It makes sense. 200 million is uh, a lot, a lot of downloads. Do you want to lock that in? I lock it. Uh, lock it easy. Well, yeah. yeah. Final final answer? Yeah, final answer. Final answer. A one hundred and twenty million. Total downloads in 2020. 
It is right. Krim has helped you yeah. get through. Although we have used all of your lifelines, so you are on your own now, Johnny. Uh, sorry, I keep calling you your handle, online handle. DVD. It's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you are now moving on to your Earth Badge. Which EV reducing berry lowers a Pokemon's speed EVs? Is it A, the Pomeg berry, B, the Kelpsy berry, C, the Honju berry, or D, the Tomato berry? I sound uh, Irish when I say that. That's tough, because... Uh... Mm, Kelps Berry is attack, Pomeg Berry is HP, Andre Berry is special attack. Yeah, it's a hard question. I never played VGC. I don't know what EV reducing <laughs> berries are. Tomato Berry. This is a kind one for you. Final yeah. answer? Final answer. Final answer D, Tomato Berry. Yeah. Not a doubt in your mind, Davide. Well done. You have locked in a $10 eShop voucher. So you are officially the furthest along anyone has got tonight. So congratulations. And now Ooh. we make a start with Lorelei and the Elite Four. What Pokemon spin-off title gave players the opportunity to get the mythical Pokemon Jirachi? Was it A, Pokemon... Poker Park Pikachu's Adventure, B, Pokemon Dash, C, Pokemon Channel, or D, Pokemon Art Academy. Yeah, it's uh, the one from for the um, the GameCube. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Pokemon Channel. Pokemon Poker Park Pikachu's Adventure should be the really old one with the Pikachu. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Pokemon Channel. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. C is your final answer. Davide, I hope you're right, my Let's friend. Hope. Good luck. Final answer, C, to move on. It is right! Here we go, Davide, you guessed it. Well done, my friend. Hype in the chat for Davide, oh. who's moving on. Congratulations, mate. That was a really tough one. I honestly yeah, didn't yeah, know it, myself. It um, that I, was... I wasn't sure, because I'm pretty sure even it's in Pokemon channels, uh, there was a Pikachu running around. So I wasn't super sure. Maybe nice. 70%. Yeah. Awesome, though. Now we're on to Bruno, big old Bruno, the bruiser. And we're going to continue. So your next question, Davide. Ooh. What nature increases a Pokemon's special defense and law's defense stat? Is it A, impish, B, lax, C, gentle, or D, sassy? Well, so, gentle. Final answer, gentle. Final answer. Final answer, gentle. Without a doubt, Davide. And now you're yeah. moving on. The Soul Dew item originally gave Latios and Latias a 50% boost to their special attack and defense stats. In Generation 7, these items were nerfed. What have these items' new effects been changed to? Is it A, boost to special attack, B, boost to speed, C, boosting psychic and dragging type attacks, or is it D, boost to special defense? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's C, boosting psychic and dragon type attacks. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer, boosting psychic and dragon type attacks. Yes. You are correct, and you are moving yeah. on. Congratulations, yeah. yes. It, uh, it used to be a very broken item, but... Um, it now... was. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Who is the vocalist on the original Pokemon theme track, Got to Catch Em All? Is it John Sieg Siegler, A? Is it B, Billy Crawford? Is it C, John Bon Jovi? Or is it D, Jason Page? <laughs> ah, Bon Jovi. We could probably discount one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I have no idea. Uh, uh, Billy Crawford is... Uh, it's It sounds vaguely familiar, and I'm not even sure it's uh, a singer. 
Siegler. So what, you're discounting Billy Crawford? Or are you I, I considering think... <laughs> it? No, 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 I, I'm discounting. Okay. So for you, it's between A, John Siegler, and D, and D. Jason Page. Yeah. So really, it's going to be a 50-50, Davide. Yeah. Coin flip. Yeah. What all good VGCers love. I know who sings the Italian version. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually don't. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, it is I'd the English say... version. Sorry, I should have been more specific. No, yeah, 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 I know. Um, Jason Page, D. Your final answer. Yeah, my final answer. Final answer. To move on to the next part of this quiz. D. Jason Page. Final answer. You're right! You are right! Congratulations! Good guess there. So, very well. Davide, you're doing amazing. Congratulations. You have yeah. locked yourself in a $30 eShop voucher. And you've got two questions to go to win this entire thing. So are you ready? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> You're doing incredibly well. You're okay. doing incredibly Let well. Let's so, go. Let's go. And Next question. <sighs> Tuffy. In the Pokemon uh. anime, what is the name of Ash Ketchum's mum? Is it A, Sandy, B, Bonnie, C, Delia, or D, Lizzie? Big anime fan, Davide, of the Pokemon nope. series? Nope. Only watched the films. Oh, no. well, well, I don't know. There might have been a, a snippet in there with Ash's mum. Have you got any idea at all? Uh, Lizzie and Bonnie sounds pretty wrong. Okay. So we're going with the same method as you went for last time. Discounting a couple and then taking a taking a coin yeah, flip. Yeah, basically, a coin flip. Okay. A coin flip with four faces because I'm not sure even <laughs> about the... <laughs> the four face coin. Yeah. Every flip's a win. I'm, I'm throwing a, a D4 and uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, I have. Mm, I can throw the... Uh, uh, nice. I oh. have a D4. Yeah. Yeah, I might as well. Like. Okay, we got a dice on the go. Right. Johnny is putting all his faith in dice. It's like, uh, what is it like? How? What? What? How are you going to determine which one you go for? How many sided dice okay. is that? Uh, it's uh, four. It's four a D4. Okay. Oh, and okay, you're not so... discounting anything. So whatever it lands on. You yeah, go might as well. Like I don't, okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can. Uh, basically, see Delia. You locking in? Yeah. Are you sure? No. <laughs> final answer. <laughs> yeah, final answer. Locking in. Final answer. The dice roll decides all. See, <clears throat> Delia. How are you feeling? Not well. Is C the correct answer? It is the right answer! The dice have done you well. Davide, congratulations. You are at the final stage of this. This is now to win yourself a copy of Legends Arceus. You've already locked in $30 eShop voucher, so you've done incredibly well. This is the final question of the night. How are you feeling? I don't know. I have no idea on how I'm feeling. Arceus is spelled I'm sweating. wrong. Arceus is spelled I, I... wrong. Arcus. Yeah, yeah, it Arcus. is. It's legend Arcus. Uh, I mean, if it's a Q. <laughs> Is that is that like the uh, the pure for many many Arceus? That's how you. There is only one Arceus, right? <laughs> I can't get out of this. To spell a mistake. I'm sorry, chat. Yeah, it's okay. There's probably been many throughout the night. So, Davide, you've done incredibly well. I wish you all the best. Are you wanting to dive in? Yeah. 
for your final question to become a Pokemon heir, your question, your final question of the evening is... At the 2013 Pokemon World Championships in Vancouver, what Pokemon was distributed to players as a download gift? Was it A, Smeagol, B, Hydreigon, C, Gothitelle, or D, Weavile? I feel like I should know this, but I don't. 2013 Pokemon World Championships in Vancouver. It was uh, Black 2, White 2. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's pretty tough because it, it can't be the Pokemon that won the the 2013 uh, World Championships because it was a gift for that year. So that is correct. And that year, I believe, a fellow Italian won. Yeah, Arash. Arash Omati, good friend. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, that's why I, I say I should know this. Hmm. Oh, come on. I, I mean, let's go. Yeah, go with it. Final answer. Davide, you've been a great contestant tonight. Whatever happens, you've been brilliant. I think your logic here of narrowing this down has been fantastic. So... Final answer, C, Gothitel, was it the downloadable gift at the 2013 Pokemon World Championships and Vancouver? C is your final answer. Was it Gothitel? It was, in fact, Smeagol. Smeagol was the right answer, my friend. Yeah. And I'm so sorry, my... I am so sorry that you were so close to getting it. And you have won yourself a $30 eShop voucher. And you've done yourself extremely proud, mate. You've done amazing. It's been a pleasure having you on. You've done incredibly well. Everyone in chat was rooting for you. You did amazing. Thank you again for coming on. And we've got one more contestant left, chat. So we are going to head over now and get the contestant ready and end this show. Davide, thank you so much again, mate, and congratulations. And thanks. Chat will be right back. Hello, chat. We are back, finally back, and we've got one more contestant tonight. But without further ado, friends, I'm going to hop over and I'm going to now introduce our fifth and final contestant of the night. So welcome to the Who Wants to Be a Pokemon Air? Jordan, how are you doing, mate? Yes, I'm good, thank you. Very good, very good, Lee, very good. I'll... Let me know when you're ready, mate, and we can start this gig. Let me, let me just take a moment. Jordan, yeah. all the best. Good luck. I'm kicking off with which electronic device is used to record and provide information about different species of Pokemon? Is it A, the Poker Radar, B, Pokemon Encyclopedia, C, Pokeball, or D, Pokedex? Got to be the Pokedex, going for D. Final answer? Final answer. Nice and easy, you want to lock us in with the Pokedex D, final answer. There we go. What type of Pokemon is Charizard? Is it A, a fire dragon, B, a dragon, C, a fire type, or D, a fire and flying type? Well, it's got to be, it's got to be D. I mean... I feel like it should have been A from the beginning. Like it should, it should actually just be a fire dragon, but sadly it's not. We got the Mega Evolution, so you know it's cool. But yeah, it's D, fire flying. Old Final old. answer D. Uh, so yeah. Fire and flying, locking in, and it is correct. Next question. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, what is the name of the water starter? Is it A, Totodile? B, Mudkip, C, Sobble, or D, Squirtle? I'm going for C, Sobble. Yeah, yeah. Final answer? Definitely, final answer. Final answer, C, Sobble. Locking in. It is Sobble. Congratulations, we are moving on. Being a Gen 1er, you should, should get this. Who is the boss of Team Rocket? Is it A, Giovanni? B, James, C, Meowth, or D, Jesse? Uh, a, Giovanni, Giovanni. 
Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. A. Giovanni, boss of Team Rocket, locking it in. You are correct. We are moving on. It's going well, Jordan. It's going really well. How many types of Pokemon are there? A. 18. B. 21. C. 15. Or D. 16. Oh, my days. Right, I'm going to have to ask the host. Lee, I need you, bro. I need you, Lee. Need you want to ask the host? I need you, bro. <laughs> if you're asking me, I would say it's A. 18. I'm, I'm, it's up to you. I'm saying A. Oh my, all right, I'm 18. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> wow. Wow. No, that, that was so hard. That was a hard question. I, I, that, that was hard, man. Which of these Pokemon does not have a hidden ability? Is it A, Altaria? B, Garchomp? C, Salamence or D, Flygon. I feel like Flygon. I feel like, I feel like it's Flygon because I feel like he's just got levity. I can't remember seeing him with another ability like that. Can I go 50 50 on this, please? 50 50? Yes, please. What are you hoping it takes away? God Chomp and Salamence. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Going with a 50 50. It's leaving you with the options of Salamence oh, and Flygon. Oh my gosh. So which of these Pokemon does not have a hidden ability? Flygon. What are you thinking right now? I, I truly believe it's Flygon. Flygon. I feel like Salamence... Oh, does Salamence have... I don't know why I'm thinking Salamence has much. I know it's got like... I think it's Aerial 8 or something when it mega evolves. Definitely has Intimidate. I'm going to go with Flygon. Final answer, Flygon. Is Flygon... The only Pokemon from this selection without a hidden ability. Locking in D. Flygon. Jordan. It is right. Flygon is the correct answer. And you are right. Salamence does have the hidden ability Moxie as well. So congratulations. Shiny Pokemon were introduced in which games? A. Ruby and Sapphire. B. Gold and Silver. C. Red and Blue. Or D. Black and White. Gold and silver because uh, red, red Gyarados, and like, also like I think like the Noctowl, like Ash's Noctowl, that is from the anime, but I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. But the red Gyarados, that's definitely that's definitely shiny Pokemon. That was in. Oh, but could you... Yeah. Yeah. So... It's like Ruby and Sapphire is where like I feel like it kind of became like a proper thing, like in a way. But gold and silver, I feel like that was like. Again, they, don't, they were in red and blue. I'm sure, I'm pretty certain they were in red and blue. I'm gonna say gold and silver. Final answer? Yeah, yeah. I played heart gold. Final answer, gold and silver. B. You are correct, Jordan. Congratulations, still keeping those two lifelines intact. In 2014, which Pikachu-like Pokemon won the VGC World Championships? Was it A, Togodomaru, B, Plusle, C, Pachirisu, or D, Morpico? No, Toko Tomorrow is from Sun and Moon, though. What am I talking about? <laughs> I, I think it's Pachirisu, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I think it's Pachirisu. Pachirisu? Yeah. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer, C. Pachirisu. Was it one of the Pokemon to win the VGC 2014 World Championships? It was! Probably the most famous of all Pokemon to win with Seijun Park that year um, in Washington, D.C. So congratulations, my friend. In what year was the mobile game Pokemon Go released? Was it A, 2009, B, 2010, or C, 2011? 
2014, B, 2016, C, 2017, or D, 2015? I'm sure this was on another question earlier, but I don't know if, it, if that was like, if it said that was the beginning of it. <laughs> like, this, like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, I don't like Pokemon Go as well, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. I wanna say 2016, because I remember when I was working in a bar one time, and uh, for a few years anyway, but we opened that in 2016, and then like. I That's what you're feeling, like, yeah? I remember like loads of people outside, just like, playing. <laughs> or just, I, I, you just see loads of random people playing it. <laughs> Going mad with their phones, yeah. Yeah, literally. Yeah. You still got two lifelines. You've got the Ask the Audience, and you still got Phone a Friend. It's quite difficult because all the dates are quite close to each other, so. It is a tough one. Like I say, you still got your lifelines there. I, if you need a little know. bit of help. Is the audience like accurate? <laughs> Most <laughs> of the time, they've been pretty good tonight so far. They've been right every time they've been asked so far tonight. But I can't, obviously, I can't guarantee it. I don't know who's in the audience right now. <laughs> it might not be, but it might be. It might help might help you but it may not as well but if you're unsure they're there to help so it's entirely up to you it's your call mate okay, I, mean, uh, I want to say because i've seen i think it is 2014. i can't remember what it said in the question uh, do you know what i'm gonna have to ask the audience just because i need to be cool okay audience here we go in what year was the mobile game pokemon go released Oh, it's not even close. That's B, right? They are coming in strong with that B. It's a bit of a landslide there. So yeah, you initially true. thought 2016. Audience are kind of backed you up there. So yeah, I'm gonna go B. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go B now. I'm gonna have to go back. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Pokemon Go's release. Yeah. 2016 are the audience right or have they let you down royally I totally know. trolled but no <laughs> 2016 is right oh, okay. congratulations jordan you've moved on and you've earned yourself ten dollar e-shop gift voucher Thank which you are walking away with no matter what happens tonight you are walking away with that which is amazing you've done super well and you've still got a lifeline intact you've got phone a friend so you can use that at any time but now questions might get a little harder this is the elite four portion of the the quiz so here we go are you ready dive in i'm ready i'm ready okay ready. good luck jordan good luck thank you who won the vgc 2019 masters division world championships Was it A, Naoto Mizubushi? Was it B, Seijun Park? C, Wolf Glick? Or D, Paul Ruiz? 2019 Masters Division World Championships. A, Naoto, B, Seijun, C, Wolf, or D, Paul? It wasn't Wolf, because I feel like he won it. He won like a player's cup recently, and I don't think he won, I don't think he won anything. I don't think it was Wolf Flick though. Um, okay, so you're discounting Wolf from this one. Yeah. yeah okay. I don't think it was Wolf. Who are you kind of leaning towards at this point? Or do you not really. I need a dice or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need a dice. <laughs> um, no, I, I honestly. Naoto, he, he kind of him. I don't, I don't think Seijun, I don't believe he won. I, don't, I think it's between Paul Rees and, do you know what? Might be. Oh. Oh. I'm 
think I'm gonna have to phone a friend. I don't have anyone on, on Discord. Yeah. Though. Who's your Who's your phone a friend? Uh, I, my mate, my mate Abel, like who uh, runs my my gaming page with me. Um, would arrive on the TV. Can we bring him into the chat, or is he on the actual phone? He's on my phone. I, I, I don't mind showing my phone to the camera as well. Just That's fine. Go for it, mate. We'll right. phone a friend. Right. Let's go. We'll trust. We'll trust your friend not to have the uh, to have Google. <laughs> it's all right, mate. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. I don't, I don't think he's gonna know. No, 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 able, no disrespect. But I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna ring him. Right. Well, here we go, chat. We've got Jordan phoning a friend for this. So as soon as he answers, just say, and then you've got. I'll just give me the nod. When you start, want to start the question, and I'll start the timer, mate. Okay, yeah, he's here. You hear Abel, yeah? Oh, hello. Abel. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you, bro. I can hear you. Right, all right, all right. Lee, we're ready. We're ready. Okay, I'm going to start the timer now. Okay, 60 right, seconds. Who won the VGC 2019 Masters Division <laughs> World Champion? <laughs> <laughs> Naoto Mizubuchi, Sejon Park, Wolf Click, or Paul Ruiz? Naoto Mizubuchi, Sejon Park, Wolf Click, or Paul Ruiz? Paul Ruiz. <laughs> Forget that. Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Loud and clear. Thought so. I thought so. I'm not gonna lie. I was leaning to him a lot. I always feel like I got twenty seconds. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're going. We're going straight for A. Locking in. Locking in. Locking in A. Locking in. Thank you, Abel. Locking in. Yeah. A. Okay. A. A's the one. A's the one. Right. Nieto. Final That's answer. Right. Found a friend. Has he done you a solid? Abel, come true for me, bro, please. <laughs> it is Neoto. It is Neoto. He won it in 2019. Uh, Sejun was 2014. Wolf was 2016. And Paul was 2018. So, yeah, well done, Jordan. And you move on to our next stage, to big old Bruno here. No lifelines, unfortunately. It's all you now, but you are one two three four five questions away from winning the entire thing so can be done ready for the next one i'm ready i'm ready okay here we go how heavy is the pokemon snorlax oh my gosh. is it a 460 kilograms b 150 kilograms c 100 oh one 1,100 kilograms, sorry, or D, 300 kilograms. No, he's super heavy. That's he's a big, that's big, one. he's a big, big Pokemon. He's but massive. do you have any idea of how heavy he is? Let's have a... Let's take a wild guess here. It's, it's not 150. I know that. Uh, 1,100. I don't know. Because he is super heavy. He thinks that... Like, He'd be like, I don't know, like two big shows or something. <laughs> Maybe, uh, I think, I want to go for 460. It's, it's between the two highest, so. 460. Do you think 1,100 is a little high? Yeah, I do think that's a bit too high. I can't lie. Yeah. Final answer, eh? I'm going to go for A. I'm going to go for A. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. Okay, Jordan. Pokemon Snorlax, how heavy are you? Are you A, 460 kilograms? Tension, tension, tension. Oh, You're right. You oh, are right. God. You got it, mate. You got it. That is correct. He is. Snorlax is, in fact, no 460 kilograms. Yeah. So, no way. congratulations, I, mate. I, I congratulations. Don't. You have moved on to Agatha. So, here we go. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Next question. How many Pokemon were not included in the Pokemon Sword and Shield games? Was it A, 234, B, 320, C, 180, or D, 116? There's quite a lot. 
too many, to be fair. Too many. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the raging, all the raging. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna act like I wasn't. The national Dexas. Ah, uh, Dexas. <laughs> 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 the movement. <laughs> crazy. It was absolutely crazy. It's a special it was a special time in the Pokemon community, it was. 100 percent was. Have you got an do you, do you have an inkling? Do you, do you have an idea of where where it could maybe be? Are we talking like from the beginning of Sword and Shield? So like not what we've got left. Yeah, so what what Pokemon are excluded from the Pokedex? Yeah, what have not were not included? What Pokemon have n are not allowed into the games, but pretty much have okay. been taken okay. out and they can okay. never be brought into the games. Okay, not all even right, from right. Pokemon Home. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. so what has been excluded from the national decks? The Sword and Shield national decks. So, right. oh, so we've got. It is a really tough question. It's not 116. I don't think it's definitely not 116. I mean, I've got to think here because there's quite a lot of Pokemon in here. But... Right. <laughs> I don't really want to get this one. Uh, it's just... What is it? What is it? What is it? It's what? all on you, mate. No lifelines left, but you've got no. so far. You've got a one in four chance if you just take a guess, but you can probably kind of discount some, I guess. I'm guessing you can. Do you feel like there's anything you can discount at this point? Like 116, definitely. 180, definitely. I don't think it's any of them. So it's between two, four. I'm going to have to go 320. I'm going to have to go. It's just the fact that it's such a good mixture of Pokemon. Well, such a mixture of Pokemon. Yeah. It's like. I one minute I think there's not loads from one region and there is quite a few from this. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to go for three. 320 is quite a round number though. I'm going to have to go for B, Lee. I'm going to have to go for B. B. Go for B. Gonna, gonna 320. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go for B. I'm going to go for B. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. Locking in, B, 320 is the final answer. With how many Pokemon were excluded from, were not included in the Pokemon Sword and Shield games. Oh. Jordan, I'm so sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. It is in fact, 200, 234 is the answer, yeah. Jordan, you did amazingly well, mate. You did amazing. I'm just so sorry you couldn't get any further. But like I say, you're not going away empty-handed. You are going away with a, uh, a $10 eShop voucher. So we'll hook you up with that, mate, and uh, we'll sort you out with that. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on, mate. It's been a pleasure having you on. You've been a great contestant. And like I've said with the other contestants, it would be awesome if we did this again, for you to come back on and try again, mate. <sighs> what an evening what an evening friends i all i can say is thank you so much to each and every one of our contestants they've been incredible um i just it's been a great evening i've really enjoyed it i hope i just hope everyone else that's tuned in has had a good time it's been amazing thank you so much as always for coming out to the stream tonight it's uh, it's been an experience the first time i've ever done one of these um kind of streams before um and I've just realized I don't have an end screen. I've got I've got a I've got an end screen we can go to. It's not the quiz show end screen. No, I forgot to do that. But it's been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great rest of your evening. More importantly as well, this is going to be our last stream before Christmas. I go away tomorrow for a few days, so I won't be back until next week. So we'll be streaming next week, probably Tuesday. Um Monday or Tuesday will be streaming but i won't be streaming over the weekend unfortunately i won't be at home so i just want to wish you all a really merry christmas if you are celebrating uh, if not have a happy holiday time um and i really hope you all take care of yourselves have a great time with friends family whatever you're doing uh, over the weekend and uh, i just want to say i appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for coming out have a great rest of your day evening everything else in between yeah and I'm going to go and get some food. 
Thank you so much, friends. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all for another stream uh, here on the channel very soon, hopefully. Take care. Merry Christmas, friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.